uh, there was no student culture at all here. Uh, students really had had uh, a very limited role up to that point. I think Barbara got here, you got here in July before I got here in September. Um, and uh, one of the things that we set about doing is really changing that in a dramatic fashion. And I have to say it's been so rewarding over the period of eight years to see how much improvement that we've seen in the Student Advisory Board and how much more energy and how many more uh, students are members of it. And I just want to thank all the members of the Student Advisory Board tonight for all the effort that you've put into this year. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, you get lots of opportunities like tonight, like, you know, uh, being doing the welcome at programs, meeting the guests that we bring here. But it really is so special to me and Barbara and the entire team at the Dole Institute to have so many students so involved and so interested in everything that goes on here. And um, that also gives me more people to joke around with, too. So I take advantage of that as well as they can certainly tell you. But we're so proud of all you guys, and we're especially proud of our seniors tonight. Um, but now we come to the part that uh, really gets to be fun. Uh, we're going to present the director's awards uh, for this year. Uh, the director's awards are available to members of the Student Advisory Board um, who have uh, played a major role in the board this year and been extremely active. Uh, now, we do exclude student workers from participation in this award. So these are only for non-student workers who are members of the Student Advisory Board. And I'm going to ask everyone that I call to come up one at a time and, uh, and pick up your uh, director's award. The first is Brittany Besler. Brittany, come on up. <laughs> By the way, these are spiff, spiffy new awards. So if you receive one of these in the past, it's different, it's new, and it's got a little bit of blue tint. No, nope, you go and go back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Stacy Burnett. Stacy? Stacy's not here. We'll have to make sure that, uh, that she gets her award uh, later. Uh, Erica Crandon. I think Erica was here and left as well. She had to go do something else. Uh, Sierra Foreman. Sierra? You here? No? Okay. Amanda Gaze. Okay, Amanda Gress. There's Amanda. Yeah, you are so welcome. Thank you for all you do for us. I think I saw Mick here, Mick Johnson. Mick? Okay, uh, our next guest is here, Sean Lunds. Sean? I knew I saw him out there. Congratulations, Sean. You bet. You bet. Gabrielle Mernon. Not here? She had to leave as well. And I know that uh, Christina Osmeyer had to leave. Eric Pauls, Eric is still here. Thanks for all you did for us. Okay, uh, I believe our next one is missing too, but I want to call him out, Ramiro Sarmiento. Ramiro is not here. Uh, the next two are here, I'm happy to say. I've seen them both. Zach Shields. Zach. You bet. Thanks for all you do for us. Okay, and the last of the director's awards, Julia Stanislav. Julia. Okay, let's give another round of applause for all the Director's Award winners. 
Now, the next one is a little more difficult to explain, but let me give it a shot. It's the Director's Special Achievement Award. This is given to members of the SAB, including, including student workers, who over the course of a four-year career have shown a commitment to the Dole Institute and intensive involvement in all of those four years. And we have four awards to give out tonight. Our first guest was not able to make it tonight, but I do want to recognize her because she's been actively involved in uh, what the Dole Institute has done, especially with our fellowships, and that is Kristen Nance. Now, Kristen, I believe, has some friends here who will probably report the fact that we did give her a chance to pick up her award. So. Uh, our next one is for a student who I believe I have seen as much of over four years as any non-student worker at the Dole Institute in my entire time here, Alex Heiler. Alex? <laughs> These, by the way, have a little bit of a gold tint to them. So I was, was going to ask you about the balloon. Yeah, How's absolutely. <laughs> Alex, thank you. We're going to miss you. Uh, our next one is also another very special person who I've enjoyed uh, getting to know uh, over the last few years. She's done a great job for us working with Kristen to coordinate our study groups, Evan Gates. Evan? You know, Evan, it's never too late to switch to being a Republican either. Yeah, yeah, she'll think about it, right, right. And um, our final Director Special Achievement Award uh, is for an individual who has coordinated our Student Advisory Board. Uh, she has done a fabulous job. She really stepped up and has done a wonderful, made a wonderful effort this year. And I really believe our Student Advisory Board is stronger than it has ever been before, and that's in large thanks to all of your efforts, but her leadership as well, Lexi Clark. Lexi. Now, one of the things that we did when we started um, these banquets is we wanted to end these banquets on a really upbeat note. And so, quite honestly, we kind of stole the idea uh, from the KU basketball team of having the seniors come up and speak. And three seniors have told us that they want to speak tonight, and I'm going to call on them and give them an opportunity to come up and talk to what, why the Dole Institute uh, means a lot to them. Our first is Alex Heiler. Alex? Well, first of all, thank you. Like Bill said, I jumped right in my freshman year, um, and I think he was more excited to find another Republican on KU's campus than anything else. Um, so he started inviting me right away, and I loved it. Um, I used to joke about this, but it's been true all four years. I love that I come out here, and none of you know what thermodynamics means. Um, so it's been great. It's been my escape from math and science to come out and actually talk politics, being one of those nerds who actually likes it. So it's been a great four years, and I have nothing but wonderful things to say about this institute, and I will definitely miss it. Um, probably my two favorite events, which I think is kind of fun to hear which ones people picked. Um, I really loved when Senator Mitchell came. Um, he was awesome just telling us fun stories about Bob Dole back behind the, the scenes, and it was super fun to be a part of that experience as a student advisory board member. And then probably my second favorite was actually the one that we hosted as the gun control program. Um, it went really well. I thought it was really interesting, so that was really exciting. Um, but then they've also done little things here at the Dole for us, like finals week studying. Um, Lexi knows my entire study group came out, and we were drawn all over the whiteboard, and we loved it. Um, so even those little things have been great. Um, and I have to give a special word of thanks to Bill. Um, Bill wrote me letters of recommendation to law school back when I was indecisive. And fun fact, um, Bill will receive a note about this too, but I got into every single one. 
um, which is awesome, but also fun fact, not going to law school next year. Um, so I know. <laughs> So I knew Bill would really appreciate that because I kept nagging him over emails for another one here, another one there. Um, so I really appreciate it and I'm really grateful to say I got in. Um, but like I said, I'm not doing that. Really, really crazy, huh? Um, but I have actually settled. Um, the fun news is I am going to graduate school next year um, at Virginia Tech. So I've officially accepted a full ride um, out there to do bioengineering. Um, I decided I'm not done with engineering yet. And maybe I'll do law school later, I don't know. Um, I might be hitting you up again in a couple of years here. Um, but nonetheless, um, the staff here and all of the students, you guys have made it a great experience. Um, I've done everything that I can do to have a good time and, and really give back. Um, so I'll leave you with a little bit of a quote from Bob Dole himself, who said, when it's all over, it doesn't matter what who you were, all that matters is what you did to make a difference. So hopefully I've made a little bit of a difference and I'm gonna keep on trying to, to live one of his mottos. So thank you so much. That's wonderful, Alex. Thank you. Um, you did fail to mention that half of those recommendation letters you asked me for, I was on vacation at the time. So We're going to really miss our, our next speaker as well. Um, and I introduced her a few minutes ago. And, um, you know, it's just a matter of time before she's going to be a chief of staff to United States congressman or senator or maybe even the President of the United States, Evan Gates. Evan? Man, I apologize if I read off of this. Uh, Lexi and I keep looking at each other and tearing up, so but I'm not making eye contact because I want to make it through this. Um, you know, Lexi and I have been planning these, I think, since maybe even before we got hired. And afterwards, we always talk about what we're going to say in ours. Um, I will forever be grateful to Barbara and Bill for allowing me to spend my college years here. I'll always remember the pinch me moments I had. And I may have forgotten what we talked about at our first SAB meeting, but I'll never forget what my time years taught me. Um, I actually, the first memory I have is I had to introduce, um, or I had to do a student welcome. And I was super nervous because I was like, oh, it's in front of people. It was an evening program. And um, I made it all the way to being a panelist at the Politics Tonight in 2011. Um, now that I think about it, though, I think I was nervous because it was the globalization in sports and leadership. I don't. It was actually uh, mountain climbing. I don't climb mountains. Um, those, of you, those of you who know me know I don't really do nature. So I think that maybe that was why I was so nervous. Um, and before I continue, I just want to thank my parents because obviously I wouldn't be here without them. Um, they always believe in me and encourage me to do um, even the things that I don't think I want to do, and they finance all my dream chasing. Um, when I was thinking about what I wanted to say tonight, I thought about legacies. Um, many of our guests here talk about the legacy, legacy of a former president, the legacy of a cause championed. And when Senator Dole broke ground on this institute, I'm sure he was thinking about his legacy. Those who don't know the senator would probably say he never planned to have the former president of KU Young Democrats as a student employee at the institute. But when I had the pleasure of meeting the senator in August of 2011, I knew this was exactly what the senator had in mind, an institute for the betterment and benefit of students regardless of political affiliation. Study groups and student fellows coordinator taught me invaluable life lessons about working with people of all ages, varying backgrounds and beliefs. I started here with a fellow who was a former member of the Cosby Show, um, and we roughly had about eight guests who came every week. Um, then I worked with a fellow who let me borrow his older kids' college uh, kitchen supplies when I was living in DC, and a former congressman who was never afraid to uh, tell a funny but inappropriate story. Um, <laughs> I worked with more than one female trailblazer who encouraged me to always shoot for the stars, and I ended with a general who's in charge of all of our military action in Africa. And the hard work of the institute really, you know, and, and I, we transformed that program. We have a couple dozen people who come um, all while working, like Bill said, with one of my best friends, partners in crime. So it's truly been a great experience. As I end my tenure as a study group and fellow student coordinator, I want to thank the staff of the Institute for guiding me through what were some sometimes very tricky situations, for challenging me and always supporting me. Speaking from experience, that first semester, Alexi and I were here. What each one of you do is invaluable to the Institute, and we couldn't be successful without you. 
And to my fellow student workers, thank you for valu valuing your time here as much as Lexi and I have, for always making me laugh, and most of all, thank you for your friendship. I can hardly wait until we're out in the real world running Washington together. I knew when I arrived at KU I wanted to be a part of the Dole Institute, but never could I have imagined it would turn into all of this. My time here at the Institute has had more impact on who I'm striving to become than any other experience I've had at KU. When Lexi and I started work here in August of 2010, we came into it with this grand idea of what our experience would be. But I can honestly say I never thought that I would be leaving here having shook the hand of a Supreme Court justice, staffed the press pool for a sitting head of state's visit, or regularly receive emails from the deputy field director of President Obama's campaign asking how my job search is going. I spent my days watching the visitors we have not laugh at the Dole Pepsi commercial, or driving 12 of the biggest players in the 2012 presidential election around in a van in Lawrence praying I wouldn't curb check, and if I did, they wouldn't notice. <laughs> I spent afternoons in Barbara's office talking about civic engagement and often voicing my frustration with the current lack of enthusiasm. She quickly became my fiercest ally because in her eyes, there's nothing you can't accomplish. Sometimes I spent my time talking politics with Bill, and we learned that while we certainly disagree on some issues, we aren't as much of political polar opposites as we thought. One day I even spent my afternoon coloring a dollar bill that would, <laughs> will forever be adorned on Bill's wall because I lost a bet. And I'd like to point out that while I lost that bet, I won who's gonna win the presidency, so we probably should have been even. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> We work hard and play hard. Bill's heavy metal music references and jokes often go over my head, but I think I can speak on behalf of all the seniors when I say I'll miss them. I know of very few other bosses who convince an, can convince an unnamed, blonde, fellow senior staff member that he suddenly has a glass eye, or who goes to great lengths to create fake news articles to educate us all on hamster appendectomies. In all honesty, I've been spared the brunt of his jokes, but when he did tell, try to tell me that the president wouldn't be coming, I thought he was joking. I mean, Barbara did too, to be fair. Um, as you leave here tonight, I would encourage you to think about the legacy that you'll be leaving behind. I hope you look back on your days, as I have, and know what an impact this institute had on you, and hopefully the tangible impact you made here at the Dole. While we always have fun, it's hard to stand in front of the largest stained glass flag in the United States, flanked by two beams from the World Trade Center, and forget why we are really here. To educate and engage the students and communities of Kansas about the importance of being civically active, and to always remember we can accomplish much greater things united than we can divided. We live out that mission here at the Institute, and I hope as you progress through your time here at KU and into the real world, you will always remember that, the people, that people of different political opinions can in fact work together. They can even be friends. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this legacy. Narak Chak Jayhawk. Evan, that was very nice. I didn't expect you to call me out though, so you can pick this up from me after, <laughs> as, the, as the evening closes, okay? All right. Our final talk tonight is by um, Lexi Clark, and I introduced her a few minute, moments ago and told you what a fabulous job she's done. Uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, she had to moderate uh, a very difficult discussion on a very controversial issue of gun control. and. I'm sure she was inside a little bit uptight, but she looked from the outside as cool as a cucumber. And she's done a great job running the Student Advisory Board. Lexi Clark. Lexi? Kind of what Evan said, um, if I read off of this, it's so I can kind of keep myself together a little bit. Every year we do these senior speeches, and I know Evan and I have been waiting on this since freshman year, and it's amazing to finally be standing up here. I'm sure most of you know that the first student organizational meeting that I attended as a freshman in 2009 was a Dole Institute SAB meeting. And little did I know at the time that I would make my KU home base this beautiful building. Early on, I signed up to volunteer as much as I could, and when I wasn't volunteering, I was in the audience absorbing everything that the Dole Institute had to offer. Second semester of my freshman year, I was asked if I'd be interested in applying for the position of Pizza and Politics student coordinator. And of course, my answer was an emphatic yes. Well, I was thinking, wait, I can actually work here? 
When I started as a student worker, there were only a couple other students that I saw regularly around the office and very few staff members. Evan Gates and I were hired at the same time, so we're kind of the old twins around this joint now. <laughs> but sophomore year, it was Evan Gates and I, and we were wide-eyed rookies, quite green to say the least. <laughs> we bonded over a mutual hatred of a, of a color printer and an understanding <laughs> that we can figure this all out if we stick together and make sure neither of us take ourselves too seriously. It was a pretty steep learning curve, and to this day I still spell check my emails sent on behalf of the Dole Institute better than most of my final papers. <laughs> In addition to learning about correspondence and communication, I had to acquire a plethora of other work skills over my past three years here. And despite my frustrations with the phone system, which I do not think the business school has forgiven me for transferring all of Barbara's calls to them for a month last summer, <laughs> it's been worth it because I've had the opportunity to work with people that I so greatly respect. So here I go with my little Oscars acceptance speech thing, so bear with me, it might take a second. Barbara Ballard has become an amazing mentor to me over the last four years. She epitomizes what I think a passionate, powerful, driven woman is. And not only do I hope to move forward into my post-college life with the leadership skills that I've learned from you, I wouldn't mind if your talent for event planning rubbed off on me as well. But all kidding aside, there are so many things that I want to thank you for, but I'll just say thank you for everything. Bill Lacey, talk about that steep learning curve that I <laughs> mentioned a moment ago. Um, I think all the student workers have figured out his sense of humor, but to this day, he still can prank me. I could blame being gullible on the blonde hair, but I would just like to say that I think it's my trusting nature and my, <laughs> my belief that the people I respect would use their authority and their comedic powers for good instead of evil. <laughs> Speaking of which, Bill, I got you a few eyeballs here in case you lose them. It says Bill's eyeballs. <laughs> to this day, I can't get over the fact that I thought that he had a glass eyeball. It was so convincing. They, you know, they say that I'm gullible. I say they're the reason I have trust issues. <laughs> but all kidding aside, Bill, thank you for giving me the opportunity to work here. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to do all of the things that come along with working here. You've shown me that we can have a good time and still do great things. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to try so many new things with the Student Advisory Board and helping me plan the SAB program this semester. All the students, we always joke after our big programs and say things like, I just got water for the former president of Ukraine. There's no way this is real life. Or, I just accidentally stuck my hand down a Supreme Court Justice's shirt while in an overly excited attempt to change her microphone while on stage. <laughs> There's no way this is real life. <laughs> but this is our reality here at the Dole Institute. And thank you so much for giving us that. I am honored to have been given the opportunity to work here, and even more so, the opportunity to be the Student Advisory Board Coordinator, so thank you. Maggie. Maggie is probably the coolest boss in the entire universe. In addition to being incredibly smart and talented, she is just plain awesome. Thank you for making the Dole Institute such a student-friendly place to work and being such a great friend, mentor, and manager. Thank you for everything, Maggie. Heather and Melanie. You two are also great. Thank you for answering my questions down to the obnoxiously minute ones that I usually know the answer to, but I really just need someone to say it back to me so I know that I'm doing the right thing. Um, thank you for being there to back me up, keep me on track, and pull me together when I feel like I'm start starting to fall apart. Heather, you have such a cool sense of style, and I love spending time in your office, and you're really good at keeping me organized. Melanie, you are so insanely creative. Thank you for everything that you've designed for the Dole Institute. It's it's been so much better than anything that I've ever designed in my mind. And thank you for that. And thank both of you for everything that you've done. Lawrence, thank you for everything that you do, making sure that we are able to do everything that we do through running this building. And Allison, you are the most awesome paparazzi in the entire universe, so thank you. And to the archive staff, you're very good at what you do, and this building is a testament to that. I look forward to seeing how the Student Advisory Board and the archive can work together in the future, but in the meantime, I'm really curious to see how that exhibit turns out back there. <laughs> to my fellow student workers, I've considered myself so blessed to have the opportunity to work with the smartest, most civically minded and dedicated students at KU. One of my favorite things about working at the Dole Institute is the conversations that we have in the office. These conversations typically start with a tweet read out loud or a headline or a school project. We are all obviously very politically minded, but under our shared banner of the Dole Institute and bipartisanship, we toss ideas back and forth, express ourselves, and figure out a lot about each other. 
I've learned more and expressed more at the Dole Institute than at any discussion course I've ever had, and I'm going to miss that environment. You are all fantastic, and I'm happy to say that some of my strongest college friendships have come out of the Dole Institute, and that is largely because of the quality of people I've had the opportunity to work with. And thank you for putting up with my tendency to be slightly more organized than the average bear, as well as putting up with my tendency to uh, be a little bit high strung and stressed out at different points during the semester. And here's a shout out to Allison, because I told her I would. Thank you for the awesome Pop Rocks chocolate from Israel. So it was like a party in my mouth. Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> and lastly, to the Student Advisory Board. I do not think that there is a group of more engaged, thoughtful, and critically thinking students on this campus. I want to thank all of you who have been here consistently throughout your college career, and those of you who have made SAB your home base. My hope is that you have a lot to take away from here. I'd also like to point out that as a member of the Student Advisory Board for the past four years, I've never seen a more dedicated, professional, and mature group of freshmen. I just want to thank those of you um, who have been just so energized and dedicated here. And I just want to get a round of applause for all the freshmen and the rookies who've come through here because you made it amazing. The combination of energized new members and experienced returning members has made this year arguably one of the best years the Student Advisory Board has ever had. The energy and the passion that comes from the Student Advisory Board is what made me want to take this job and is what made me want to work hard to make sure that you guys have the experiences here that make it worth coming over that Iowa Street Bridge. From participating in homecoming for the first time and winning the canned food drive, to co-chairing for voter registration and being awarded the Jayhawk Choice Award for Educational Program of the Year for our amazing program, Gun Control Freedom Versus Safety. You are all amazing, and it has been an amazing year. Thank you. The University of Kansas is a big school. It's a machine. It can be intimidating to walk down Jayhawk Boulevard, and it can be easy to get lost in a crowd at Wesco Beach. As a student at KU, we have a choice to make about what kind of school KU is going to be for us. I don't know how each of you ended up here. Maybe they offered you more money than other schools. Maybe you wanted to go somewhere else and you ended up here for reasons beyond your control. Or maybe, like me, your family tracked up and down Mount Oread for generations before you and it fell to your shoulders to carry on the tradition. Or maybe KU was the school you really wanted to go to all along. Maybe KU was your dream school. Like I said, I came here to carry on the tradition passed to be by my grandparents, my aunt, my uncles, my cousins, and my mom. But being a Jayhawk by birth did not make KU my dream school. When I came to Lawrence, I had to find my own intellectual space because with an undergraduate population of 28,000, that's not provided for you. Not all of us will have our names hanging from the rafters at Allen Fieldhouse when we leave, but that does not mean that we cannot make KU our dream school. We make KU our dream school by being involved. We do it by being in Model UN, being on the debate team, supporting Student Senate, by excelling in the Honors Program, the J School, the B School, or even Math 105, by working we make KU our dream school by working hard here at the Dole Institute, which we did this year. We worked so hard that we brought back the first university prize the Dole Institute Student Advisory Board has ever won. It may not be the rafters at Allen Fieldhouse, but all of you are hanging on that wall in that office, and that's a pretty good spot. You each have the opportunity to use the resources that KU has to offer to make your time here extraordinary. You don't have to passively sit through classes until it's time for you to walk down the hill. Although I know to some degree I'm preaching to the choir here because I've tried to keep up with what all y'all are doing and it is hard because y'all are so involved. But my hope is that you stay involved and you wear your crimson and blue with pride because KU, your school, is a world-renowned institution that has some of the greatest resources college students have available to them, but only if you make it happen for yourself. This may not be a fancy liberal arts school from the East Coast that you think of when you think dream school but we can compete with them any day. And I will tell you this, if I ever encounter anyone in my life who looks down their nose at me because I went to some big Midwestern state school, you can bet your boots I will tell them, you're darn right I'm a Jayhawk. And guess what? The University of Kansas was my dream school. And with that, I sign off as the coordinator of the Student Advisory Board at the Dole Institute of Politics. It's been a great year. And I'm happy to be passing it on to the capable hands of Quinn Reed. Thank you all for everything that you've done. And I wish each and every one of you the best. Rock chalk.
Well, that's a tough act to follow, but um, at, as Lexi and Evan and Alex's speeches demonstrated, this place is truly something special, and I'm humbled to be up here and to try and carry on the legacy that they have uh, left for us. Um, as coordinator next year, I hope to uh, continue down the path that has been set forth by the seniors and for everyone else who has come before. Um, I'm looking forward to building on what we've done and to continue to expand the student involvement. Um, last fall, I, I was studying abroad, so I was not able to be here. Um, but when I came back and I saw the number of students that were involved at every program and the number of students who were active, it was at a level that I had not seen it before. And it made me really excited. And at, so when Lexi uh, gave a congratulations to all the freshmen, like it's, it, it's a big deal. The, the involvement that the freshmen have had this year has been amazing and it makes me super excited. I know it's gonna make my job easier next year having all of you uh, involved and um, making this place what it is. Um, on that note, um, I, I didn't prepare a speech, so I'm just kind of rambling up here, but I am uh, truly humbled and honored, and um, I know that we're gonna do great things next year, so I will see you then. Rock Chalk. Well, all of you can see why Barbara started tonight by saying that this is a bittersweet evening for us. We're going to really miss our, uh, our graduating seniors, uh, but we've got a fabulous team in place to carry on their work. And uh, we want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. It's really been a very special evening. Uh, we thank you for um, joining us, and everybody have a great evening. And we do have a couple programs left. We have our program on Thursday night on General Eisenhower and the Eisenhower Memorial. And then we actually have a program uh, next Wednesday uh, at 3 p.m., uh, which will uh, be a celebration of the 50th anniversary of the first American ascent of Mount Everest by honoring a Sherpa who climbed with the first American to climb Everest, Jim Whitaker. Uh, so come by and join us for that, that video. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Have a great week.